Hello, how's everyone doing today? Loved, protected, safe, I hope. Today we're going to go over Hebrews 12, 1 through 29. Therefore, since we also have such a large cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every hindrance and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, so that you won't grow weary and give up. In struggling against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons. My son... Do not take the Lord's discipline lightly or lose heart when you are reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the ones he loves and punishes every son he receives. Endure suffering as discipline. God is dealing with you as sons. For what son is there that a father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, which all receive, then you are the illegitimate children and not sons. Furthermore, we had human fathers discipline us, and we respected them. Shouldn't we submit even more to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time based on what seemed good to them. But he does it for our benefit, so that we can share his holiness. No discipline seems enjoyable at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it yields a peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your tired hands and weaken knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed instead. Pursue peace with everyone, and holiness without it no one will see the Lord. Make sure that no one falls short of the grace of God, and that no root of bitterness springs up, causing trouble and defiling many. And make sure that there isn't any immoral or irreverent person like Esau, who sold his birthright in exchange for a single meal. For you know that later, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, even though he sought it with tears, because he didn't find any opportunity for repentance. <laughs> for you have not come to what could be touched, to a blazing fire, to darkness, gloom, and storm, to the blast of a trumpet and the sounds of words, those who feared it begged that not another word be spoken to them, for they could not bear what was commanded. If even an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned. The appearance was so terrifying that Moses said, I am trembling with fear. Instead, you have come out, come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to myriads of angels, a festive gathering, to the assembly of the firstborn whose names have been written in heaven, to a judge who is God of all, to the spirits of righteous people made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood which says better things than the blood of Abel. See to it that you do not reject the one who speaks, for if they did not escape when they rejected him who warned them on earth, even less will we, if we turn away from him who warns us from heaven. His voice shook the earth at that time, but now he has promised, yet once more will I shake not only earth, but also the heavens. This expression, yet once more, indicates the removal of what can be shaken, that is, created things, so that what is not shaken might remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. By it, we may serve God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Now, endurance to God's commands. Endurance to the commands of God, to turning and keeping from sinning, is impossible without God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You may endure for a time, but a time will come when you cannot endure under your own will anymore. Jesus Christ endured all of our sins to the shedding of his blood and sacrifice of his life for us to have in the endurance, the chance of eternal life in their kingdom, and the opportunity to be led along their paths of righteousness 
for eternal life in their kingdom shall we endure until the end. We will fall down in sin along this path. But when you do, you must repent from your sins, turn away from, and ask forgiveness from them. Understand and accept any corrections from God are for them. They are not meant to harm you. They are meant to strengthen you in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For in our weaknesses, they are made strong, and us through them. Corrections are made out of their love for us, for us to be able to endure all things, to become more Christ-like by following them. We must live in harmony with one another, despite what each may do unto you. No one who lives in their own will, doing what is in righteous to others, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Do not in do not trade eternal life in their kingdom for the temporary things of this world's sinning ways. No one may come into their kingdom in this manner. Only eternal damnation in hell awaits these people. Do everything you can to save those who can be saved. For if you do not, you will have this against you on the day of judgment. Discipline is not easy, but it comes peaceful in knowing it comes from our Creator to make our, our steps straight in their paths to them in their righteous truth and kingdom. God is once again shaking the heavens and the earth to sift out everything that will not endure. Only those whose spirit truly lives in and abides in them shall be unshakable, thus inheriting the kingdom of God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Do not turn away from their commands to you, having your prayers falling on deaf ears, lest you be shaken from their kingdom and inheriting eternal damnation in hell forever. Remember, God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth and trust, faithfulness and steadfastness, favor and anointing, forgiveness and salvation. Strength and endurance, clarity and courage, and everything good of them be with you, always guiding you through. Have a blessed day in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love you all, and I'll see you later.